Distributing right and left and under the headings. Who does that? Well, this is like this. Oh, it's like this. Oh, it's like this. Wait, so the other hand, you got two right. Y'all, y'all scared. So you get it. Yeah. 
It's kind of tricky to go and learn to fall, the model of all Christ. He was modeled for the cause of Christ. Because Christ died for the world, right? Nobody died for him. He was way off the sea before Christ was gone. So that, 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 who was modeled for Jesus' question? No, she's correct. It's just the way it's worded. You hear the way it's worded. It's, 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 what she was reading is if he died for Christ, it's the Christ line for him. Did I get it? What false dollars, the primary one, worship in his area? It's really, it's too difficult for you to 
we got an answer. And I'm so sure. We need to go back through it to the great you got right. Because this is about knowing and learning, not just reading stuff. You see how overwhelming it is to read it? Did anybody know? We had about three weeks off. Did anybody know that answer? Fall star, what fall star was one of one worst in the air in this area? I was still trying to show you what in this church. We need to change. What must we be careful not to be partakers of Christ? I mean, we can pay to Christ to God. So, we need to be on the Zeus. Who was Zeus? Besides Zeus' name was some of the other false God's worship in the book of this. Um, okay, let's, 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 go, let's go over the first. It's page, it's on the group, 212, uh, just read it out, 160. Yeah, it's a little reflection. That was important right there. You understand what the two made two of us, right? So that's why we came to Bird Studio because it's got a lot of great things in this. See, remember how people worship saints in the, in the house, in the church, in the temple. You see it right here? And they believe that they, they have power when they fall over and 
and they have they have received power from these sinners. That's why I can be careful how you worship. What you bring in the house of God. And how you say to be called to God. And you think you think you have power. You see, Satan is tricky. He can all the forms. You know, better you, you're going to be better safe call on you. You know what you're doing. Some people do. And they die. So, what are you saying? You don't bring anything that's demonic in the house of God. If you got a bad spirit, you need to get yourself together when you come in the house. You need to get yourself together. When you come in with a bad spirit, it transfers. Satan will use you to let us know how bad cold will sit beside you. They call the season next week or two. We got to see the symptom call. It's kind of within three feet. So Satan, if, if he tried to operate in disguise. He, he comes as, as a sheep and wolf, and he's a wolf in sheep clothing. He, he transforms himself to age of light. So Satan comes in many different forms to trick you and fool you to make you think he's what he's not. And he uses satanic powers, even the house of God, to trick. He said, yeah, he got to be a man of God. Or she got to be a woman of God. But the, 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 the spirit of God is, see what? I want to talk about one thing because of this lesson. What is the spirit of heaven? When you feel a heavy spirit on you, what does that feel like? Bondage. Where is it now? The spirit is heavy. You can if you go in a room or a church or wherever that spirit is heavy, you know it's not done. You ever been to a place and say, this place has a heavy spirit. It's like something's not right. You can feel it when you go in the door. You said, let me get out of here because there's something right in here. That's the spirit of the Antichrist operating in that place. So in Pergamus, they were dealing with these spirits and people bring in these different beliefs. If you let, if you let snakes fall over you and, and lay on the floor in the temple, you receive power. Imagine that. Read on. See what I'm saying? Educated, work, place of knowledge. Place of knowledge. These libraries with all these satanic books in these places. And you go into these institutions and you get this Greek and all these other things you get into in these books and study this stuff. And before you know it, you're entrapped into satanic forces and you don't even know it, then you then not only that you start branding yourself with a symbol on your body. And then they call you sister or brother. And you are connected with them through the satanic forces. Well, you know what? The Bible's not being branded. I'm not going to try to brand you with no one. Something put a mark on me, that's that for life. And that's what I'm saying. People there have been tattoos all over their face, their head, their legs. You're, what, what does these tattoo mean? And it's, that thing is it's just like permanent in your body. So we do things out of ignorance of what they represent. So you have to be very careful, saints. Read on. So, y'all writing down some down, aren't you? You're going through it right now. 
You, you know it. <laughs> it's part of it. But you see what she's saying, saints? The church is committing sin, compromising with the heathen around them. Many times, worldly wisdom and faithfulness to God are not cohesive. The Bible says that the clone line is entering against God. How can people be so smart and think the world know more than God? Well, he has a degree, or she has a degree. That degree makes you smart than God? Well, the doctor said, is that doctor smart than God? He got it out of books, out of teachers and instructors. Things he did. All that works. Medically, things work. But if the body rejects the medication, it doesn't work. So they have to try something else. They try to get to a dosage or get something that will work. I have had a, a medication that made my blood pressure up. Instead of bringing it down, they shot it up. And then they got to need something else to bring it down. So, saints, we have to be careful about worldly wisdom. Worldly wisdom will destroy a church. Because you see, people like me going this way and enjoying the Lord. And, and they're doing this for the sake. You, you cannot copy the things or compromise the things of the world. You can't bring this stuff into the church. Anything that's seductive to seduce you is not a problem. I don't care if, if, if it's a man or a woman or whatever, if you've been seduced by a spirit, you need to leave, you need to get away quick. Because they will consume you. That spirit of seduction. That's how John Long said. He was dancing, dancing. And he had went against Philip because he had married his brother's wife. And, and he said, What were you? She said, Well, give me John the Baptist here on the fly. She subdued him in a dance. And John also said, the power of seduction, the devil will subdue you if you don't be careful. The worldly compromising. If something God says wrong, don't let God tell you it's right. If the Bible says wrong, he says wrong. Do we do wrong? Yes. We do. What happens when we do wrong? We suffer. And we have God's forgiveness, right? Read on. A lot of studies um, in a very prominent school, the School of Higher Learning, one of the best schools in the nation. This school had ended up paying millions, millions of dollars back, uh, probably billions, because their facts were false. They had been false facts given, and people <laughs> received them because of their stature as being facts. But it was false. So every time I come to you, say, this is fact. By the try the spirit, by the spirit, see where it be of God. Amen. Real. Did he say facts or did, what did he say? Faith. We go. The, the mind and heart, even though physically a human heart, are miles apart in the spirit. There are so many 
It makes it easy. When we say, oh, folks, don't want it. Not that with them. They do it all right. Now, I'm living all I can be. I'm going through all the time. And like everything's going, you think that because you're not involved with them. You don't know what's going on behind the doors of those. You don't know what's going on in their marriage. You don't know what's going on in their relationship. Amen. You come to church, smile and happy. You go back home and they fight and fuss. So it's not always what you see. People from the good front. But saints, when you love God, when you love Him enough, you don't change the cause. Folks change. You say the same. You hold up where it's right. Right wins every time. You know. Now that's the key. That's the key. To draw people out of the church. That's the deal. People said it's a great falling away now. Rob spoke about that. People said people not going to church anymore. Millennials not going. People have been pulled away from the church. Why? Because the church compromised. We're going to have a 6 o'clock service, y'all will come. We're going to have a 7 o'clock service, y'all will come. And we won't have service past 11 so that y'all can come. And they stop all the morning worships. And they, and, and they have one service. Uh, we have two services. If you don't like that, we have one at 6 in the morning. And then we have one at 7 in the morning. Whatever we y'all want, we do it. Keep compromising, compromising, whatever. You lose them, folks, if you don't even come. You can't please folks by changing time to a service. The job don't change this time. Right? You don't think about the boss, I'm not coming today at, at, at I'm not coming at 8 o'clock this morning, 7 o'clock. I'm going to come at 11. This is a new schedule for me. They were saying, well, I think you need to look for another job. <laughs> you said, how foolish it is, saints. Go, I got to go to school, I got to be there at a certain time. Or I got to go to doctors, I got to be there at a certain time. We, we recognize everything but God. We're compromising our principles for the world. You don't realize that. A lot of doctors don't own Fridays anymore. A lot of clothes. Monday through Thursday. They change. But the church always trying to compromise the police folks. Remember what happened? You lose them anyway. Stay with the word. You know, you can't gain a relationship with anybody trying to Trying to give, 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 give all the time. You end up losing anyway. You stand on your principles. You stand on what is right. There's no right, no right to get She said, well, you better get saved. We can't have a relationship because you get, get, get saved, get baptized, get in the church. She's still on the principles. She's trying to play now. She didn't tell me to talk, but she's trying to play now. And fasting. See, people don't fast and pray anymore. Of a relationship. You know, we've been married for 40 some years. Because the compromising didn't happen. If you want a good man, you got to be a good woman. If you want a good woman, you got to be a good man. You know, the Bible says no goodness in us at all. So apart from the Holy Ghost, there's no goodness in us. 
So if you have the same husband or same a fiance or same whatever, it transcends both of you all into one. Marriage will be what? One. Somebody got to compromise in that relationship, come together. Not, I would say, come about, come together as one. So, that's what the Bible is trying to say. Husband love your wife as Christ loves the church. He put the woman as the church. So, love your wives. Read on. And good intention, no, no help you done. But they made bad results. Good intention, no, no, no more fault. Read on. Jesus goes so far as to call this thief. Jesus goes so far as to call this evil thief, Satan's thief. Satan's thief. Read on. We know by this that evil prevails. Evil prevails. Read on. That, see how the word was twisted? They, that, that's the correct writing. You see it? Does it make sense to it better? Yes. Read on. This satanic influence had come against the institution children. We must realize. Wait, wait, read that again. This satanic influence had come against Antipas and killed him. Killed him. Not the Christ, but the devil killed him. You all got it? Read on. Oh! What do y'all think about that? That's a deep one right there. What y'all got to say about that? Did I get somebody in there? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean, Sister Sheriff? Because one or the other is going to happen, you know, if you do not catch yourself, you know, and ask God to remove any feeling, you know, take it away, Lord. You know, I want to be real for you. You know, as a single person, take it away. And so, you know, I found out in my single life, that's what I had to do, is ask the Lord to take it away.
father was a pastor, he drank. My mother was a bishop, she drank. And he, he passed for 50-some years. And you're not a pastor or a preacher. You said you don't drink. What's wrong with that? See, what you're saying, then the conflict comes because you don't believe where they believe. And they creates what? A divide, right? Right? So, it's all right to be associate, but having a limitation on how much time you spend with them because they either going to pull you on their side or you're going to pull them on your side because they will talk to you and tell you it's not wrong with that. My dad has for 50 years. He did that, and they, you know, they create stuff uh, to try to trick you. And so unbelief is a very dangerous thing. People that just unbelief the only thing that's in your head is unbelief. Read on. We must witness to them and they go on. Fellowshipping with the world brings compromise. That's right. She said, well, we got it again. We must witness to them and they go on. Don't care about which of these They let them fall out. You see what I'm saying? Well, I'm going to come by your house for a minute. He said, go home. Right? Because if you go home and they were with you, something might happen. Right? And then what happened? When you need pray, Lord, forgive me, I messed up. Lord, you know, I'm human, I'm struggling. So all these things, but if, if you can abstain from it, it works. It's hard, it's not easy. What do you mean by it? What do you mean? Fellowshipping with the world brings compromise. The exactly. thing is that some of this has crept into the church as we see in verse 14. Verse y'all believe it crept in? Y'all, y'all want to mark that one? You see it more and more today than ever. Amen? People don't respect pastors. He's a man like me. He puts his pants on like I do. I should have wanted like reading. What makes them so? I can read the Bible myself. I don't need to read the Bible for me. I hear it all the time. I can read for myself. I know about it myself. I got the Holy Ghost. They say all this stuff. And then when stuff falls out going the wrong way, they're going through. That's what the devil wants. He wants to cause you to fall from grace. Read on. Revelation 3 and 14. <clears throat> but I have some things against thee, because thou hast buried them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught the last to cast a stone flock before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols and to commit fornication. See, once he got, the, got something in there, the food, see what he said? First, you talk about the food drinks. After he got this in them, they eat sacrifices to idols. See, the spirit of the devil has to get in you through food, through drink, or whatever. And once he get in you, he calls you to do things you should do. Now, they, they, a, lot of, a lot of young ladies have been taken advantage of because they got drunk or drink too much. Or whatever they did too much. And they find themselves in a compromised position. And bad things happen. That's why sin works. He works to take advantage of you, to get the upper hand on you. Any way he can. Date, date drugs and slip stuff in your drinks. You go to the bathroom and say, I'll be back, and they watch you drink. You come back, you get dizzy. Oh, I'll carry you home. And, and, and all these things, the enemy is always plotting against the saints. You don't know who's real. People be married for 30 years and say, why don't you live that? And you got 30 years and all of a sudden they divorce. It's what happened. They've been married 30 years and they divorce. Satan got in there, that relationship. Satan caused the problem. Read on. But the law also approved them for allowing 
See you. I see it all the time. I don't see anything. But I pray that people change. Stop playing God. Playing church. He played, played church. I see the Lord show me stuff so vividly. I see it. I don't say anything. You know, I don't say anything, but I know that God has a set time to deal with people in a way that I cannot do. God knows how to get to you. He knows you. And when things begin to fall apart in your life, you understand what I'm saying? See, everything you do in church, you, somebody knows. You might have think, but, but somebody knows. And think about God will let the pastor know what's wrong. I may not say nothing, but God knows. People say, well, that's the time I must have told you. God might have told me anything. God knows. You get up and treat track call. You can shout out all over the place. When you get through shouting, when you do preaching, you still got to live holy. You still got to live right. I don't care how I do what you're saying. You still got to live right. Amen, somebody. The doors to all. Amen, amen, amen. Read on. Yes. You can't put a price on God's gift. It's not yours. Send me a letter. You owe me $500 in two weeks. Prost prostituting, same thing you said, God's gift. The gift is not for you to prostitute and sell. It's not yours. Oh, yeah. I come and play, but I want this. I come and preach, but I want this. Christ did the gifts. I want five hundred dollars. I, I, I don't want this. I want that. I have never, in my years of ministry, put a price on anything I do for the Lord. I do not put a price because it's not my gift. It's His gift. If people, if someone honor me and give me something, that's different. But I don't put a price. You ask me, what do you call us to do ready? I don't charge. What do you call us to do film? I don't charge. What do you call us to come and preach? I don't charge. I'm not in that business of charging people for a gift that's not mine. Where does this thing come from, saints? Read it again. It came straight from sin. Read it. His prophetic gift for what? For money. The root of all evil, but the money is, they said money root of all it's the root. It's not the money, but it's the thing that tax the money that creates its foolishness. And people run all the time. They will spend $100 to go see somebody in California going at $500. They go to some big affair out there, and you got this big show, and, and all the, and you see all the, you get excited because the crowd, the music, there's always loud music, lights, and a lot of young people jumping. It's just like a club. And young people are familiar, old people are familiar with club life. Excitement started in the football game, excitement started in the crowd. We get, you just holler and hope everybody having a good time. You get caught up in the moment. Satan has orchestrated how to set it up because he's a, he's a master of deception. Bring all the lights in the church. All kind of lights shining. Dark in the church. 
women dancing, flirting around like the angels, just jumping, all kinds of stuff going on, and deeply excited. Oh, that's the Holy Ghost. Satan has what? Transform itself to angel of light. And people are caught up in crowds and loud music and dance and swinging. Trap. Trap. Real. See, I said seduce, we were talking about the seduction. That's what he uses to entice you, seduce you. He first said prostitute, the word of God. Now he prostitute, he seduce you to do what he wants you to do. You feel obligated because he's done some good for you. And then you end up doing going against God. Real. See what he did? Subduce Israel, men into a marriage, the results of blasphemous, the blasphemous union of Israel and fornication, adultery, feast. Eating, drinking, marriage, and giving marriage. Took you all out of your religion, out of your faith, out of everything you've ever known, and you and you're plunged into adultery and blasphemy. Because you want to be with the crowd. You want to have a good time. You want to be young. You want to be loved. You want to be cared for. All these things. Love. Care. Having somebody. I need somebody. And say, yeah, I've got everything you need. I care about you. I'll take care of you. He may do it for six months a year. Then he get tired and say, well, I'm gone. Your heart is broken. You're set, you're hurt. You, you messed up the life because you've been rejected. That's why so many women out here, even on Friday night and Saturday night, that's all. 15, 20 women. Because they all this way to feel loved is with each other. And they put with the girls. And you see them eating and eating and eating and drinking and eating and eating. Because they don't feel loved. But when they get together, they feel loved. They hug and kiss with each other. They love one another. Before you go, boom. Same thing for them. Because can't find love here. I find love somewhere. And that's how that's I see it works. He works with your mind. He works with your body. Real. In his message to her, Jesus compares the conduct of some of these believers with the actions of the Israelites who compromised with the Moabites. He also condemns them for allowing the doctrine of the Nicolaitans to remain in their midst. See, leaving the devil in the midst. It's all right. It, you see, I see it's true. Oh, man. I said, you see, I test the mind of people. And I said, what's all right? I said, it's all right to wear earrings. Okay, they put them on, they paint, right? They get bigger, bigger, bigger. Amen? And before you know it, they hang all down there. <laughs> right? Because just a little leaven, leaven the whole lump. That's what you see, see in here. Don't need but a little bit. Everything we see in the hill, but it's the disobedience we see in the hill. Okay, we do
Jesus Christ, if we are truly his, we are Christians. Whatever the Son is, I am happy to know that our name will be on it. Jesus will feed us with his men. Manna fell from heaven miraculously and fed the Israelites on their way to the promised land in Exodus 16, verses 14 through 15. Just as Israel received manna, God, God promises to give the true believer the spiritual bread the unbelieving world cannot see. Jesus Christ. Compare John chapter 6, verse 51. Whether this is spiritual or physical, I do not really care. It will all it will it will be all we need to sustain us. The original ark of the covenant, which the earthly ark was fashioned by, has always been in heaven, hidden from earthly eyes. Amen. The mystery Jesus is revealing is himself in his fullness. One, he is the tree. Two, he is the bread. Three, he is the man. Four, he is God. He is God. We too, like Pergamus, must repent and come to Jesus with all that we we are or ever hope to be. We are nothing until he fills us with himself. White stone. When an athlete won in the game, he was often given, as part of his prize, a white stone, which was an admission pass to the women's celebration afterwards. This may, pic this may picture the moment when the overcomer will receive his ticket to the eternal victory celebration in heaven. Amen. New name. The personal message from Christ to the one he, he loves, which serves as their admission pass into eternal glory. It is so personal that only the person who receives it will know what it is. Revelation chapter 3, verse 12. The one who is victorious, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he will never again leave it. Upon him, I will write the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, that comes down out of heaven from my God and my new name. Amen. Thank you. Now, we, next week we'll do the test when we have about three weeks off. And it's so important. These lessons are so, so, so very important. I don't know about you. I have been refreshed tonight. Thank God, I am. I have been refreshed tonight. By reading this word, and refreshed my spirit. And say, God is revealing himself in these last days. These last days, he's revealing himself a little more. Today, and we live in this time that people are compromised with everything. Uh, they don't, some don't baptize anymore. Some just come to church, give God the heart, give God the hand, whatever. No baptism. We still baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. The pool still got water. I believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. I believe mean, going out in that big grave and, and, and being born anew as he went down to earth. It symbolizes him dying. It symbolizes when we go out of the water, we die to this whole world. We rise in a new life. Saints, don't ever think that new stuff is better than the Word of God. I don't care how fabulous it looks, the Word of God is going to stand. Don't compromise with the world. I would rather go to heaven by myself and go to hell with somebody else. Mm -hmm. Amen? Don't compromise, ladies and gentlemen. Don't compromise with the world. That's all saying, what is going to grab on? Uh, I want to finish it, but I did not feel right moving this lesson unless the saints would have understood this lesson. Amen? I want you to see, to feel this word. And I can tell on your face tonight, you was really enlightened. The word was enlightened. Everything she read was enlightened. It brought, because it brought back things in my mind. The word will make you better. And what was the main subject, the main thing in that lesson that I like? He said, repent. Repent. I mean, all the stuff they had done. And Pergamos, repent, get it right, change direction. 
did your life together. And this was a church at Pergamos. This was not the world. This was the church. You saw the church got off course. This church can get off course. And we want to stay with the word. Any church can get off course. We want to stay with the word. Stay with the word. I don't know if the preacher come here. I mean, I can be dead and gone, but you need a preacher that's going to stick with the word. That's going to be seen good, look good, smell good, shout good. You got the word. You got to try to get the glory. Amen? They said, Jesus, no, no, we went for nothing we should desire. But he was God. Father God, open our understanding of your word. Help us to see beyond ourselves. Lord God, judge us that we shall not be judged. Lord, help us to get this thing. Let us go back to holiness. The Pentecostal move, the apostolic way of living that life of holiness and cleanliness. For women look like women and men like men. We didn't change with every style and come along, but we stayed consistent with the word. About man, it's not, it's a shame for man to have long hair. It's a shame for a woman to shave her head. All these things you said in your word, in your word Lord, is what the people of God are going against. And when you stand on the word of God, people feel like that you are, that there's something wrong with you. It's a cult. Because you're not doing what they do. But Father God, show us that this way the word is right. If the word is right, everybody else is wrong. I will stand on the word. I will stand on the word. God, help us stand on the word. Lord, help us to be real. Be faithful. Be a servant. Not to play church, but be the church of the living God. In Jesus' name, we pray that all God's people, amen. Peace be unto you.